Hey everybody, out here at Willow Springs, or Streets of Willow I should say, for the Compact Octane Track Day. Now this is an initiative that's pretty much focused on small displacement bikes. There's a class for bigger bikes, but pretty much everyone out here are on, you know, RC390s, Kawasaki 400s, things like that. Now the Kawasaki 400 that everyone's talking about right now is the ZX4. Double R, that's what it, ZX4 Double R. And I got the man with me who's responsible for basically turning them into hot rods that everyone All wants right, to know. Open group. And hang the on. The track is yours. Open group. The track is yours. Thanks, one Heath. One to one twenty. Right. Open group. Your session has begun. All right. Good on you, Heath. Thanks, mate. And here he is, Mr. Chuck Graves. How are you, buddy? I'm doing great. Excellent. Enjoying talk us, Talk us through this beast. Oh, yeah, I should probably should actually show you guys what this thing actually is. Okay, so this is my street bike. Yep. And it's my daily rider. And I've done a bunch of hop-up stuff. Um, got the Dunlop Q5s on it. Yep. I've got the Tubo uh, pressurized gas forks. And uh, So those are shock. the cartridge kits, the bike yep. tubo cartridge kits? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. This is a kit we developed just for this bike. Okay. Rear shock yep. from the tubo. Yep. Okay. And I've got the full titanium uh, works two yep. system on it. Okay. The guys, got, are, the guys are going out for another run. I've got the uh, rear stand hooks. Yep. I've got our graphics kit. And you got it on the on the other side of the yep. motor as well. Right, right, right. That's full graphics kit. Yeah. So explain this little beautiful piece down here to us. Okay, so that's a, a billet engine cover. Yeah. So in case we tip over, it's a little bit thicker and should last longer in case we tip over before yeah. oil leaks out. Yeah. We've got frame sliders. Yeah. Um, we have the mid-mount riser bars. So these these handlebars are a little bit flatter. Yep. And a little bit further back. It gives you more of that uh, GP inspired inspired mode, uh, super bike inspired feeling to the to the front. Yeah, because that's one thing. That that's one thing I've, I've noticed with the stock bike is that it's pretty cramped. Yeah, it's a little bit like this. I think you're really going to enjoy this. Yep. We have a, a special windscreen that we developed with zero gravity yep. and some aerodynamics guys. It's really, really cool. Super silent when you get behind it. Yep. We have a brake line kit. Okay. So this brake line kit, along with the ABS delete from FDECU, yep. eliminates the ABS. That way the rider can control all the brakes. Yep. Um, we have the AIM Solo DL lap time. Now this so now this Solo DL um, has a new can expansion and a analog expansion so that we can get the data from the ECU yep. and we can get four channels of analog. So we're doing suspension yep. and brake pressure and oil temperature oh, wow. along with your lap times. Okay. We have the brake lever guard. Yep. We have the metal throttle tube that um, prevents it from having the forward prevents it from having forward motion you know that yeah that, uh, as you go that forward break. feel which yep. kind of really bothers a lot of guys yep. you know you got that spring going forward and then it's dead coming back so yeah. we eliminate that yep and then of course we have the ECU flash yep and the DNA air flow. Right. So what sort of horsepower are you getting out of these things now? Because they're about 60 horsepower stock, aren't they? Yeah, so this one makes 79. That's with the DNA, the flash, and the pipe. Everything else is stock. Wow. Not bad. That's what, 25% or so? Yeah, I think it's like 38% or something. Is it's it quite that a lot. Much? I don't know. I got a sheet God, my, my mass is so, yeah. so crap. <laughs> yeah, but it's really it's big. Yeah, that's huge. And that's just off a of flash, no cams or anything like that? No are you? cams. No, 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 no cam degree. Are you developing cams for this thing? We do. We have a camshaft set. We have a cylinder head rooms in development. We have velocity stacks. We've got quite a number of we've got quite a number of developments. We can show you on the other bike if you want yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, let's go that. over there. Oh yeah, this is the this is the one with all the all the spice. What are you guys on our ones at a little bike track day? So this is the complete super sport kit. So this is our development bike and uh, it has a full set of bodywork, which yep. is all vacuum bags. Yep. It has honeycomb core. It's put together with fiberglass, but it's done in the same process you would you'd uh, assemble okay. bodywork and carbon fiber. Right. And uh, you can see it's a very slick seat. The lines are really, really tight. Yeah, it's beautiful. This bike, this bike weighs 341 pounds. <laughs> it makes 80 horsepower. 
<laughs> it's almost like the Kramer. Like it's almost as light as one of those things. Oh, yeah. it's, uh, well, and it's going to be lighter. This one has the fancy buttons. Yep. Right, so it eliminates some of that. We have the metal throttle housing for it and the switches. So we get rid of the, the plastic housing. Again, this one has AIM Solo yep. EL and it's logging all of the data we talked about. Yep. This one also has the Tubo steering dampener and our steering dampener mount kit. Yep. This one has the, has the rear set. And you can see here the pressure sensor for the rear brake. Oh yeah. yeah. Is it the same shock as what's on your bike? Same shock, same set of forks. Okay. That that one has a little bit lighter springs. This one has the FD ECU shifter. This allows you to easily go from street to GP just by flipping the shift knuckle okay, and swapping yeah. these two wires. But it also gives you a much firmer feel. Okay. Like the stock one has there's quite a bit of spring before yeah. it actu yeah, actuates. This one you don't have any of that. So it's just you know for racing. Snap yeah, the yeah. guys want it right now. All right. Um, gearing change as well. The, the gearing is a little bit different on it. This yeah. one has the uh, carbon chain guard as well. Yep. Uh, has the aluminum sprocket and uh, yeah, it's got it's got. This one, this one actually has velocity stacks in it as well. Fire out. Yeah. I'm gonna have to ride this. You know, this. Yeah, you, you gotta try it. If you try that, you try this. You're gonna, Big difference. You're, you're gonna be in love with both. I promise. <laughs> All right. Well, look. Enough of that. Let's actually go and ride these things. Stone cold Q5s. Please be careful. All right. I mean, already. Compared to the stock ZX4, ZX-4 or whatever they call it, there's already so much more room just with those handlebars. We good? As soon as he gets off, you're good. All right. There wasn't any oil or anything down? No. No. He blew the chain off. Oh, okay. Go ahead. All right. All right let's go. It's so much stronger just even off that initial turn, initial hit of the throttle. It is so much stronger off the bottom. Overall, the whole thing's better. Right, I am taking it easy. Here comes that hurricane. It's probably going to rain cats and dogs tonight. Let these guys go with hot tyres. Through you go. Man, this thing sounds so good. Honestly, sounds like a, a bike twice its size. Yeah, red, look at that red line. 15, 16,000 RPM red line. Yeah. So much more mid-range. This is Chuck's personal street bike. This is what he rides to work on. Quick shift is beautiful. I think it's a stock one. Whoa, easy there, soldier. Yeah, watch out. Nico doing a bowling ball on the first lap. Alright, got a bit of heat in these rubber. Let's go. That sounds so good on the downshift. That auto blipper is just wonderful. Such beautiful raspy noise out of this thing. Now there is so much more performance from everywhere. From like the second you crack the throttle, there's just more of everything. That was a dog shit corner, Rennie. Get your head there. Up this track, Streets of Willow. It is one of my favorite circuits in California. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, buddy. And this thing gets it. It's much more feel of the lever as well. Brake lever, I meant. I do not use the rear brake 95% of the time, so it doesn't really mean anything to me. Although I would love to have a thumb brake. Thumb brakes are wonderful inventions. suspension on this thing is so nice it's not stiff by any means it's just way more compliant and it turns so much nicer holds its line better mind you the tyres these Q5 gun locks these Q5s have done five that's right five days at the racetrack very impressive from the gun box great thing about this bike, you don't burn through tyres. Get a race bike, a super bike, and you just munch through tyres. This thing, you can literally go to the track three or four times and have the same sort of rubber. Who on earth is this guy? Little bike track days are such a good idea. This guy in the Ninja 400 in front is flying. Mm. Oh, uh, red flag. Bummer. Something's happened. Man, this thing is so much fun. That spread of power from 6,000 or so RPM, like it actually has power. <laughs> the stock one, the stock bike doesn't have anything uh, at that speed. It's not until you really get up until 9, 10,000 that the stock bike actually begins to go. But it shows just with a little bit of work, you know, a pipe, a flash, you get, yeah, whatever it is, 30-something percent more horsepower out of this thing. Shows that so it, it, it shows what a good engine this is from Kawasaki. The base engine is such a great little thing. All right, now we're going to jump on the race bike. Oh, sorry. Is that it? Now this is race pattern. Race pattern, sweet. Okie doke. <laughs> God, how's that seat? So much nicer. Uh, it needs. Uh, oh, you've already put fuel in it, haven't you? Yeah, no, it's got fuel. Okay. That's just flashing because uh, we took the sensor out. Okay. Put the fuel cell phone. Alright. God damn, this thing sounds awesome. Man, just listen to this thing. It sounds angry. You can already tell how light it is. Just by riding this thing in the pits. Ah, this thing turned so good. Ah, oh, listen to this thing. It's, it's so roomy. Well, it runs on a bit there. Take this first corner flood out now. Oh, it's weird 
it has this little run on. I don't know if you can hear it. See, I'm not. That, almost like the throttle bodies are being opened really slightly. Even when I'm. Even when I'm not actually opening the throttle. Whoop! Missed the gear there. The great thing about this is just how nimble it is and how quickly it turns. I mean, there's a lot of great things about this bike, but what a laugh this thing is. This has got to be one of the most fun bikes I've ridden all year. is so stable, it's so well set up. You can short shift and you don't actually lose that much drive. Again, because that motor's got so much crunch. Oh. I am quite knackered and my right ankle after my crash at Laguna Seca last year is really sore. <laughs> But, that doesn't disclose the fact that this thing is awesome. Alright, well the batteries on the GoPro died, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, now back in, uh, in Chuck's rig here. Hey, you did a good job on that bike, didn't you? It's a freaking beautiful bike. It's, it's so sick. sick. I love it. <laughs> yeah. So, everything about that thing, like just from my point of view, was like, I mean everything's so ratcheted up. Like, Engine performance, suspension performance, brake performance, the quick shifter, like the pop that that gets yeah. when you when you, especially when you're short shifting. Yeah, yeah. it's so good. <laughs> That's inspiring. Yeah, right? it really is. It's and, fun and and, and fun. yeah and friendly. Yeah, right. You can just ride the thing it's all day long. Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. So, here's the question: How much? You know, I haven't done I haven't done the math on that one. Right, but I I, I think that you are around twenty. Somewhere between 26 to 28, probably. But that that includes the price of a bike. Right. Okay. Right? When you go buy a bike and you got to pay tax and you got to do all that, that includes the price of the bike and all the parts. And the way we do it yeah. is it's the retail price of the bike yep. and the retail price of the parts. Right. No labor. No labor. That's the commission bill. Okay. Right. And that's what it comes down to. And actually, if you went and tried to do it yourself, yeah. I promise you it would cost more. Right. Okay. You won't get the same. Right. I can give someone else the same stuff, and we do. There's a lot of hot rod shops yep. that will support and say, here's all the stuff. Yep. This is how we put it together. Yep. And, or we'll do it with individuals or teams or anybody that really wants to do it themselves. Right. But it's always just a little bit better when my guys do it because it yeah. gets that, just that finite touch. No, that's so. cool. Well, I'm honored that you gave me a ride on it, man. But thank you so much. Eh? I'm, happy, I'm happy you enjoyed it. Oh, I love it. Everybody yeah. who gets to ride these things. Yeah, sorry about that camera shaking, guys, yeah, but this is all I can do. But uh, yeah, thanks to Mr. Graves here. He used to be known as what was it, the King of Willow? King of Willow. King of Willow. <laughs> King of Willow let me ride his bike at Willow. Yeah. So anyway, uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description for Graves. Uh, was it Graves Motorsport? It's Graves Motorsport, yeah. but it's Graves Racing Services that okay. actually uh, performs the bike builds. Okay, cool. Well, I'll put all the links down below. So yeah, give us a comment, like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. But yeah, please let us know. Would you guys like to get out there and have a crack on this thing? It is an absolute blast. Anyway, see you guys again soon. Cheers. Cheers.